nine years since I collected my first Tesla. And then I've had pretty much every incarnation ever since. I've never had the Tesla Roadster, but I've had everything else. And I ordered the first Model 3 two years before they came out. Got one of the very first, and then I've got the first refresh. And obviously, we've done loads of videos of Model 3s, and we run a couple in our company. So it's only natural that we purchased one of the brand new Model 3 Highlands. So here we are on the launch day, Saturday the 27th of January, and one of the first cars to be handed over in the UK. So this is ours, Model 3 Highland, long range, dual motor, with the standard wheels, and rather than just borrowing this car and testing it like a press car, we have bought this car, we'll be using it as both a family car and a work car, and so we've got loads of content to come, giving you some real life tests of this car over the coming weeks and months. I think we'll be keeping this car for a while, uh, so there'll be tons of content, we're going to do some comparison videos, what we like, what we don't like, what's better, what's really improved, what other things we find out, so there'll be loads of stuff coming up. In the meantime, this video here, well look, this is the handover, this is collection, so I'm going to go through a couple of things you might look for on collection, what's included with the car, a few of the initial setup bits, although we might just film a separate setup guide, uh, how it then appears on your app, and then my first drive and impressions of it. And then we're going to be straight to work, out as a family today, to work next week, and we we'll do loads of other tests, so lots more to follow. Initially though, this is it. I'm Richard, this is a new Model 3 Highland. if you get questions that you want answered about the Highland, we'll do our best. So leave comments below. We'll try and read as many comments as we can and then we'll pick up on, that, on other videos. So certain things you want us to test, see, find out, tell you about, happy to do so. Uh, so initially, right, this is handover. You buy the car through, through the app, you turn up at the time, you say you're here, and then it just appears on your app once you accept the terms and conditions and accept delivery. Now this one's inside today because it's part of a launch event. Uh, I don't think they're all gonna be inside, but I'm privileged enough to have this one inside here. So firstly, have a quick look around the car and just check for the conditions all okay. So I've had a look around this and it seems perfect. Now fit, finish, build quality has been brilliant with Tesla's for a long time now. Uh, and this one seems no exception. I'm looking at all the panel gaps down here. Uh, you see, I hold my coat in so the zips don't catch it. All the fit and finish, I mean, me and Serge is over here. We've been around the car and we can't fault it at all. Now we've gone for black, um, it's a difficult colour to keep, and often with black it is easy to get swirls and scratches, but they've done a great job preparing this car, I can't see anything on it at all at the moment, which is really nice to see. Now we'll probably be doing some, uh, maybe a ceramic coating protection, but I think actually we might even go on and do some wrapping of a car, um, do something a bit different with this. So again, if you've got suggestions and comments, leave them in, uh, leave them in the comments below. But we're going to probably do some wrap or something with this car. I do like the red, the red's very nice, but red is also a little bit more difficult to do kind of smart repairs and touch-ins. Black, white, kind of our company colours, so I like the look of them in black. If only you've got a full-time Valitor, luckily we do, so that's good. Anyway, onto the handover. Had a quick look around it, it's all good. You get the mud flaps here, fit to the standard like look of it. Inside, you can come round, come round, come round. Uh, we've got floor mats. So you're always keen, yes, they do come with some floor mats. So I've got a nice set of floor mats here. Obviously, it's kind of familiar, isn't it? But it's just nice a premium feel inside, nicer seats. Got the rear screen now, which is good. And then, what was nice, I opened the boot and there was a nice little gift in there. So I had a couple of nice little bits to thank me for being an early holder and buy one of these cars, so I've got a nice flask here. I don't think everyone's gonna get this, I don't expect too much, but I was nice enough to get that. Now, what do you get in terms of cables? There's a Type 2 to Type 2 cable here, and this feels heavier than normal, I'm sure it is heavier. Um, heavy duty Type 2. Now, do you get a three pin? Well, I certainly have, so I've got a three pin cable here as well, and then you've got your kind of emergency pack for there as well. And I've got a lanyard, a bag, and a poster, very good. So in here, the boot kind of space all feels much the same, although this is now like a sort of softer material rather than harder plastic. And I have noticed actually, the number plate holder is much better. So we typically had this number plate holder rattle around and you close the boot and it rattles, but that's nice and solid background there now. So it looks smart, slightly different badging at the back. Have a look around it. The paint's all lovely finished by the look of it. All the panel gaps are great. Nice bit of shine, no swirls, brilliant. 
So we've got the 18 inch photon wheels here so we can actually take these covers off and I guess one thing we can do as well is have a look at the wheels behind this. We can maybe see if earlier wheels from the earlier Model 3s are interchangeable with this. It could be, might not be, don't know yet. Uh, let's have a look, tyre size the same. What have we got? Michelin Premacy, e Premacy T2 tyres. So it'd be interesting to see how these are like. Two, three, five, 45, or oh, 18s. Has to be right at the bottom, that one, didn't it? Let's have a look. Yep, double glazed. Kind of different shaped back seats, I think. Obviously, you've got our screen there. So we'll do a bit about this, you know, what you can do on that. I think you need to have Bluetooth headphones and you can listen to separate stuff in the back. So we'll probably get some of them, try that out. I know my daughter's very keen to do so. And then in here, that's not my driving position. Let's have a look. So we've got these nice new seats and I'll be keen to see what these are like. And then obviously the controversial no stalks. How is that going to work out in practice? I do like this nice bit of material on the dashboard here. I like the ambient lights. So with this Model 3, uh, there's a couple of things I'd like to see. And the test of time will prove whether they work or not. So uh, what was the problem with the old Model 3? Well, the ride was a bit firm. It could be a bit noisy in the cabin. This should be improved. That's going to be good, I think. The headlights could have been better. We've got different headlights. How are they? The seats are always found not quite supportive enough. So I'm interested to see what they're like, especially when we do longer journeys. We do a lot of days with many hours in the car. So it'd be good to see what they're like. Now, the one thing was lacking from the old Model 3 that the new Model 3 still doesn't have. There is one thing, and that's lights in the door handles. So when you come around, especially at night time, you can't see where your door handles are, especially when you've got black handles and a black car. It would have been lovely just to have a little LED light in here so you know where your door handle is. I would have appreciated that. But it promises some really good things to address. Uh, some of the little niggles of the previous car. It's a brilliant car, the Model 3 always has been. And hopefully this picks up on that and takes it another step further. So they will come, by the way, with up to 50% charge. They give you an email beforehand, but they do give you something like 100 miles of free supercharging. So the policy is no more than 50% state of charge when you collect the car. I think they're going to be handing over so many, it's going to be difficult to do that, isn't it? Charge them all right up. But they do give you an email and you get 100 miles of free supercharging. Now, the other thing you need to make sure you do is if you're already a Tesla owner and you're going to buy a Model 3 Highland, click through on your uh, referral account. So you get your referral credits on your own account. There's a loyalty section you can get at the moment, 15,000 credits. And you can use credits to buy things or buy free supercharging, stuff like that. So make sure you do that. If you don't already have a Tesla account, well, I'm going to put down below my referral code. You can always put that in, and that will give you a few benefits as well. I think a few credits at the moment, possibly a bit of supercharger. It depends on the policies at the time. Uh, but we'll put my referral code down below. You are one minute in your new car. There's already cans, food. And I'm eating macaroon as well. Yeah. <laughs> This is how this car's going to live. Man, you've got to get used to it. I'm going up to McDonald's in a minute as well. So literally, this is how this car will live. So before we get going, I'm going to, whilst I set things up in the car, which only be a few minutes, I might as well plug it in to top up the charge a little bit, because that Tesla Winchester here, we've got the superchargers right next to us, and I've got some free charging there. They've just given me. So that's cool. Um, so the car's actually at 63%. You're meant to expect it with less than 50%. Uh, right, so I think we're going to make a separate video about kind of your initial setup properly, but just to show you what I do when I get in the car. Um, firstly, uh, I'm going to just pair my Bluetooth for things like phone calls. So I'm going to pair a new device here, and open my settings on my phone, and in here, go to my Bluetooth, uh, start my search, and then it should find my phone pretty quickly. There it is. Add device, it's nice and simple. Pair, yep, got that code. Then accept the contacts, yes. That's connected now. Now, if you've got an iPhone and you want to receive text messages in the car, there is another little step you need to do. So once it's finished connecting there, there it's connected, cool. And I'm going to go to the Model 3 connection in here. And in here on an iPhone, you have to do show notifications. I think on Android, you don't have to do that. Do you have to do that again some yours? Probably not. And then I can do sync messages, and then it reconnects. It means it can display text messages on here. It can't do WhatsApp messages. Maybe it will at some point, but it doesn't at the moment. And then try my new message. So that's my Bluetooth now set up. Now, because the car is on my app and I accept a delivery on the app, it already shows my driver profile up here. Uh, so... 
if I wanted to add more driver profiles, I can do that. But basically now, if I just move my seat and I just hit save, oh, something just opened the door next to me. Imagine getting a dent in it straight away because I parked at an angle here. Uh, so that's cool. Um, easy entry, I don't tend to use that much to be honest. Um, so then obviously you go here and you can set your home is already in there. Oh, okay, that's all right then, that's done. Uh, so that must have carried from my Tesla profile. In fact, all my recent nav history is in here. And this is a brand new car. How many miles does this car have, by the way? Six miles on the clock. There we go. Shouldn't see the VIN number probably. Six miles on the clock. So now I'm gonna have a quick scroll through here and I'll do things like walk away door locking on. Uh, headlights auto, uh, wipers auto. And then obviously you can go to here and set your mirrors up a little bit, uh, which to be honest, again, maybe it saved us some driver profile. They seem about right to me, to be honest. And save that. That's good, then you go here, set your steering. So let's adjust our steering here. Oh, no stalks, what's this gonna be like? We'll soon find out. So, I mean, as I sit now, like seat in position view, it all feels pretty much the same, to be honest. Uh, that's about right. Oh, I've knocked the indicator already. There we go. Uh, so save that. I like steering well quite a long way out. It does come out quite a long way. So I just have a quick scroll through each of these menus now. Uh, standard mode, not chill. Uh, I like the steering in its kind of medium setting. Auto shift out of park. So once the cameras are calibrated, I can turn this on. And this is where you don't have to slit of a stalk or slide it on the screen. If you get in the car and there's a wall behind you, you just kind of, it would assume you want drive, but it will have to calibrate cameras first. So that's something I will enable and I'll let you know how I get on with that. Uh, daily charging limit, 80% actually, rather than 90%. There. I think they changed it on the other ones, didn't they? And as I'm charging now, oh, can I give it to 80, there, exactly. Battery temperature low, this car's not been used yet. So auto steer on, accept. I've read that a million times before, but you should accept and read the conditions. So I presume it's gonna need some kind of calibration for that as well. Autopilot activation, single or double click, single click I think now. And we've got just some standard settings that are on like lane departure avoidance and stuff like that. Speed limit zone chime, chime when the speed limit changes. I've not noticed that. Was that on the last one, Gens? I can't remember. Maybe one of the updates. Probably one of the updates, isn't it? Yeah. Well, look, let's see how I get on with that. Let's try that. Uh, so now I've got my phone as a key, plus the two key cards. You still get those of you. Child locks off. Walk away door locking is now on. So when I walk away with my phone, it will automatically lock. Notifications if I left the door open on. So again, headlights is here. Uh, leave the headlights on after exit. I won't worry about that. So here is where I can now change my colours of my, I like a kind of purpley blue, I do. Uh, I'll play with that later. There we go. Footwell lights, auto display. This is all pretty standard. If you've had a Model 3 or Model Y, then it's all the same. Scroll wheel function, lock rear display. So there's an option to just close that rear screen off if you don't want the kids watching it anymore. The thing I would say about having one rear screen is that if you have two kids, and uh, it's quite good though, isn't it? That's just a standard thing. Why is that not like a little module you buy for a little bit more, you know? It could even be like a sort of plug and play thing you pay for another five, 600 pounds or something. Uh, online routine, I think it's quite an important one. Come to navigation, turn on your online routine and also just turn up your nav because it'll often default to be muted and then you won't hear anything and you wonder why and you try and drive along adjusting your nav. So online routing on. Sentry mode on, camera view on remotely, uh, dash cam I like to have. So I presume, I'll just check in a minute, pin to drive, glove box pin. So these settings here look okay. Cabin overheat protection, we don't really need that in the UK. Um, so what are tyre pressures? 44, 44. They too tend to come with slightly high tyre pressures because of shipping, it stops them getting flat spots. The recommended, as it says here, is 42 PSI. 44 is high. And it is a slightly chilly day, seven degrees, so I need to be adjusting those a bit later on. It's a shame they haven't done that, but that's just the way it is. And it gives me a, what have we got? A month of premium connectivity. I've just got a standard autopilot on this, but at some point maybe we can upgrade. I will now, what do I listen to in the car? A bit of capital dance, select, select it. Little Star's a favorite. Radio one sometimes. Uh, what have we got now? So I know we just pick off a few of the standard things as I've got some stuff. Um, I'm sure everyone's loving knowing what I listen to. Bit of LBC, yes, LBC News, radio yes. I'm not, I'm not Radio 4, no, Joe has that. Bit of Radio X can go in there. Uh, so there we go, there's a few basics. Bit of Heart Dance can go in there. Where's, uh, 
X, uh, yeah, that'll do for now. Sometimes um, you see a button we have to refresh. And certainly with the older cars, and when we do a factory reset at work before handing it over to the owner, you will find sometimes that things like the um, radio stations doesn't pick up, doesn't list all the radio stations straight away. In which case, do a scroll wheel reset. You click and hold it in and it reboots and then often you then get all that stuff. Um, so that's done. Uh, let's go to here, favorite. So I've got that there, phone's paired. My seat's in a good position. I can see out there, I know my wipers are on. All I've got to get used to now is the stalks and the indicatory things. I tell you what, let's just check. Well, well, let's just put some climate control on. So in climate control now, by the way, um, under the seat setting here, you've now got the heat and cool function. So I've got the cooled seats as well. That's quite cool. Um, but what I was going to do is just open the glove box. Do we get a USB stick in there? Yes, it's at the back of the glove box still. So there's a USB stick in there for your dash cams. Excuse the back of my head. I do like this little material along here. I think it looks nice, but it's very familiar. I, what I would like to see is that the seats are just a bit longer than the old seats, and I think they are. I think they're just that little bit longer and more supportive, so that's good to see. Um, there we are. So, this is me collecting uh, this car. Uh, I'm going to take it out for a quick drive and give first impressions. Now, I'll tell you what. I'm going to use this car, literally my family over there, our dog and everything. We're going to get in a car. We're going to be using it this weekend. On Monday... I'll film my kind of first impressions and review, and we'll do a little follow-up on that. This is just about really collection and what to expect. So I think I'll use it and then give first review on Monday, if that's all right. Uh, so for me, for now, that's it. But Gintz, Serge, you can take it out and have a try. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so make sure you're subscribed. If you want to see loads of stuff, and if you want to ask us to test stuff and answer questions, fire it away. Uh, so hit subscribe, make sure you comment on the video, and we'll see you very soon. Time to go play.